Tracy, uh, not being from Louisiana, what have, what have other guys said and, and from what you experienced last year to, to let you know how important the Tremont Army was? I mean, I was here, I was on scout team, and I practiced. So I kind of know how their defense works. And it's just meant a lot to us as a team. I understand how everybody feels. So this is just a big game. It's, another, it's the next game, so it's another big game. And it's a comfort game. What is, does anything make it special, or what is it that makes it special? It's an instant game, so we all, like I said, it's the next game, so that's how we look at it, the whole game at a time. Talk about running the scout team. Y'all had to simulate Monroe's defense last year. What? Why does that defense sort of create problems for people? They just, I guess they're, they're multiple, so they do a lot of different things, and it's just, they're a good team, and they have a good, a good bit of athlete. Just as well as we do, so that just helps them out a lot. How much did that one last year stink for for everybody who took part in it? It hit everybody. It was a loss as to the whole team because we all worked out, we all worked hard, and so it just hit everybody. Not just the coaches, not just the players that actually played. Scout team too. Tracy, can you walk through that first interception uh, last week? It looked like. They were trying to kind of look you off and then sneak something in behind you. Were you baiting the quarterback? <laughs> I wouldn't say I was baiting it. It was just a last minute decision. And I was just like, okay, oh, there's the ball. And so I just reacted on the ball when the ball was thrown. And is that kind of what you feel like is your strength out there? Just athleticism and kind of fast switch stuff where you're able to react? Well, on defense, you have to be reactive. That's all the reaction game. So. I had to be good at it. And I was just saying that I reacted just how I used to do it. First couple games, freshmen getting thrown into the action, everything like that. You feel like you're finally comfortable that two interception game where you finally able to zone everything else out and just kind of play with your instincts? I wouldn't say that at all because I still be nervous in the first season after actually just keep my way into the game. So I wouldn't say that at all. So you still get nervous uh, in the first series of every game? Yes, sir. What do you get? When do you think you're going to be able to get over that? Or do you think it's just going to be something you always have to do with? I think it's always something I have to do with. It's just the pressure of being out there on the field. I have to depend on my teammates and I have to not be independent on it. It's a lot on me, so I have to be able to handle it. What makes it go away? One play, one hit, or what? Just going in the game flow and just continue playing. And I just realize, like, all right, I'm good now. So, have you ever seen the movie uh, Any Given Sunday? Uh, yes. No, okay. So there's no Willie Beeman. I was trying to say that you're not throwing up on the field or anything like that. You're not throwing up pregame or anything like that. Oh, um, nah. <laughs> <laughs> after, uh, after so few early season, what do you think it is about what you guys are doing defensively now that the floodgates are kind of open on their takeaways? Everybody has their role. We just, we're playing where our best one is play at. And discipline football. So, positioning on the field, you think, is, is the biggest thing? Or? I mean, I would say we just going, going with the coach's plan. Whatever the game plan is for that week, we just play with it. And we just follow through with it.